Uh, early on reason. in the week, we met this pint-sized surfer, the wild card entrant in the Sydney International Women's Pro, handpicked by surf champ Sally Fitzgibbons. Yeah. I can't, I can't believe that Sally gave me the wild card. It's like. I can't believe out of all the girls in the world she's chosen me. Yeah. I feel really excited, but I'm also a little bit nervous. It yeah. feels like sometimes I feel like I'm going to vomit when I get nervous. <laughs> yeah, me and too. I just think about because um, they even if I get last, they're going to do a two hundred and fifty dollars prize money for last. Yeah. And I really would want to spend it on donuts. <laughs> But that'll be bad. <laughs> She's such a character. That is Sabre Norris. And she won us over this week. And since then, we've found out that her siblings are just as legendary. I'd like to bottle some of that energy she's got, that's yeah. for sure. Mm. Sabre, Socky and Biggie Norris. Join us now hey! from... Hey! Good morning. Good morning. How good morning. are you guys? How are you going? <laughs> yeah, good. going well. So tell us, first off, Sabre, with your surfing, you've been out there in amongst it. How's it been for the past two days? Yeah, it's been really good. All the surfing's been really good. It's been so good to um, see all the other girls and, like, know where I need to be. So I'm, like, really excited for it. And I just, like, I can't wait so soon. Oh, yeah. Now, now Socky, I'm going to bring you in. What do you think of all the fame that your sister's had over the last couple of days? And is there any kind of advice, you know, that you give Sabre in the lead-up to, say, events or anything like that? I reckon she should just stay calm and give everything she got into this event and I reckon the result will turn out amazing. Now, you've been doing pretty well this week too, haven't you, Socky? <laughs> Yeah. Tell us, what have you been doing? I did a comp yesterday, the under-16s. I have a really funny story about it. Yeah, yeah. what is it? In the semis, um, the heat was over and I actually cried because I thought the, it, I didn't make it into the final. And I just heard on the um, big microphone that Socky Norris just making the final. Oh, oh man, was that the best feeling ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Now, now, Biggie, what, what's what's your role? Do you, are you how, how important is your role in, um, in in bigging up your sisters, I suppose, and, and taking in, in taking on these events? Yeah, Biggie's a super coach. Well, I really, oh, my favourite thing in the world is to watch my sisters surf, and that's true. Because they just surf really well, like, my sister can do air revs, and that's really cool, and so can, um, Socky, she can do frontside air revs, and that's what made her make it into the semi-final. Oh, wow. You're a proud Biggie. brother, aren't you, Biggie? Tell us about the motivational speeches. Yeah, I had some motivational speeches. What do you say You've got to do stuff! Say it again. You've got to do jumps, push ups, burpees. I don't know whether Sabre and Socky do it. You look, you're sitting back going, we're not going to do that. Do you actually <laughs> listen when he tells you? Yeah, that's that. He, as it, as he, for his our coach, you've got to listen to him. So otherwise, we won't win a heat. So always he's going to make us walk, walk home. If we don't he win the heat, he makes us walk home. He's going to make us walk home. From, yeah. Yeah. Now, now Sabre, um, you were uh, you're talking about your dad and how much weight that he's put on, um, or he had put on, but he's lost it because he's eating lots of cucumbers now. What's he had to say about um, what you said on on the Today Show? Is he was he? Well, he's, a, he's a bit of a serious guy, but um, yeah, we have a laugh about it. Well, believe it or not, but people have actually called him up and said congratulations. Like, good on you for losing all that weight because I'm for eating all those cucumbers. Then when he got into the Olympics and won a bronze medal and beat a Michael Phelps. So he's gotten something out of me telling him everybody that he's fat. So he's pretty stoked. At least you didn't get into trouble. That was what I was worried about. I thought you might have gotten, you know, grounded or yeah. something serious. Oh, uh, no, he's not. He has, he's a, he has a laugh about it. So, but he's just happy that everybody's, like, stoked that he lost weight. So, yeah, he did and that got me out of trouble. Hey. So thank you for everybody who's told him that. Hey, Sandra, I was curious, um, because you were talking about the fact that you would want to go and get some donuts, right, if you get your $250. Because I like donuts too. What sort of donuts would you get? Well, um, believe it or not, but Donut Time, my favourite donut place, actually um, sent her my interview 
and gave us six free donuts. Well, they didn't arrive until really late. And in the morning, I saw that two of the donuts were gone. And my I found out that my dad ate them in the night time before I even woke up. He ditched the cucumbers. Gay time? Yeah, but we got he got like he must have ate my golden gay time and my cookie and cream. So that's really annoying. Yeah, that is annoying. I can understand that. Hey, Biggie, tell us, you've got an Instagram page, you, you, you're big on social media, we've had a look at that. So you want to be, tell us what you want to be when you grow up. I want to be a professional surfer, and at least I want to just qualify, and I really want to be the youngest person in the world to surf Chopu, and, and I really, and I think I should surf when I'm like 10. Yeah. And I want to surf this surf spot called Owls, where the Bra Boys made it up, and I'm um, yeah, first boogie boarders all surfed it with their little boogie boarders, picking their boogers. So, um, and then the Bra Boys came along and just said, this is our place, and then, and then like, I want to surf it when I'm nine. So, yeah. So do, you, so do you want to go and hang with the Bra Boys, because I see that you had a t-shirt there with My Brother's Keeper on it. Yeah. They're so nice for sending me all that stuff. I even have a Broadway hat of it. He wears it to every single contest. Like, he won't take it off no, anywhere. No, won't take it off. Wow. Well, look, I reckon you guys can do whatever you set your minds to because you've got the energy, you've got yeah. the pizzazz, you've got the style, and now you've got the surfing moves to boot. So, wow. Hey, Sabre, just quickly, just, just because you've got an opinion on a lot of stuff, do you have any views of the US election? Huh? No. Okay. I was just that was that was me yeah. just being silly there. Um, th thank you very much for all of your uh, time this morning. You guys are wonderful people, and you've got lots of energy. And, yeah, big kisses. Uh, and I hope you get some more donuts today. And yeah, 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 yeah. Can you send us some shakers? Give us some shakers. You can do those. <laughs> see you next time. Yeah, see I'll see you soon, right? See again. you guys. Watch those three kids. They are going to be making yeah, a bit. Yeah, I reckon. Beautiful. <laughs> Pete, he is, isn't he? He's yeah. a good looker. I reckon there's a TV show right there. Absolutely.